If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. You can create data groupings on fields in reports and access to group selected fields by the unique values they contain. You can then calculate the value of another field for each unique grouping created by the values within the grouped field. This is how you create summary totals by group in a report. For example, assume you created a sales report that showed detailed data of product sales by employee. You could create a data grouping on the employee ID field to create a group for each unique value in the employee ID field. When you create a data grouping, you can add a group header and a group footer section to the report. Data fields placed into a group header or group footer appear once in the report for each unique value in the field. You could then add a calculated field to the group footer that totals the value of all the sales in the amount field for each unique grouping of values found in the employee ID field. Doing this shows the sales subtotals for each employee in the group footer. Providing subtotals by group is an extremely useful report feature in Access. To create a grouping on a report's fields values in Access, click the Group and Sort button in the Grouping and Totals button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools contextual tab in the ribbon. Doing that shows the Group Sort and Total pane at the bottom of the Report Design view. This pane contains the Add a Group and Add a Sort buttons. To add a report grouping, click the Add a Group button and then select the name of the field by which to group the data from the pop-up menu that appears. That adds the primary grouping, of which there can be several groupings, into the group sort and total pane. To then view all the available options for the group, click the More button to the right of the field grouping in this pane to expand its options. Then click each drop-down from left to right and set the value for each until you specify all its settings. Click the drop-down arrow that appears immediately to the right of the field name to select a different field if needed. Then click the drop-down to the right of that to select the sorting method for the values in the grouped field. To the right, click the next drop-down arrow to set the method used to group the values in the selected field. Normally, you group by entire value. This means the values in the grouped field must match exactly to be considered part of the same group. Alternatively, you can create groups based on field values that share the first few initial characters or other intervals. For text fields, you can select either the by first character or by first two characters option to create groups based on these criteria. To create groupings based on more than two initial characters, select the custom option and enter the number of initial characters by which to create grouped values in the grouped field into the characters field. Alternatively, for date, time, and number fields, select a grouping interval option button or enter a custom grouping interval value. To create totals for the groups as you create the groupings, click the next drop-down to the right to choose which totals to show for the groups. To not calculate any totals for each group, leave the selection at the default value of with no totals. To add totals, click the drop-down arrow and select the field to total from the total on drop-down that appears in the drop-down menu. Then use the Type drop-down to select the function to perform on the field selected from the Total On drop-down. Below that, check any of the four checkboxes to enable or disable each setting. To add a grand total for the field, check the Show Grand Total checkbox. To show each group's value as a percentage of the grand total, check the Show Group Subtotal as Percent of Grand Total checkbox. To show the group subtotals in the group header, check the Show Subtotal in Group Header checkbox. To show the group subtotals in the group footer, check the Show Subtotal in Group Footer checkbox. To set multiple totals on several fields if needed, select another field from the Total on dropdown and then repeat the process. Note that each calculated total field is added to the respective section of the report and may even appear on top of one another, so you may need to click and drag the fields to separate them later if you add multiple totals now. Additionally, 
You may only add one total per total on field using this method. So if you want to add a sum total and an average total for the same total on field, you will need to add that manually later by creating a separate calculated field for it. When finished, click the drop-down arrow in the Group Sort and Total pane again to set the totals in the report. To add a title to the group header, click the Click to Add hyperlink after the With Title label to the right to open the Zoom dialog box where you can type the title to apply to the group and then click the OK button. This adds the title as a label control into the group header. To choose whether to show or hide a header for the group, click the next drop down to the right to select either the with a header section or without a header section choice. If you added a group title, you must have a group header section. Only choose the without a header section option if there are no controls of any kind in the group header. Choosing this option when controls exist in the section deletes the section and its related controls. Likewise, to choose whether to show or hide a footer for the group, Click the next drop down to the right to select either the with a footer section or without a footer section choice. Once again, only remove the group footer if there are no controls in that section. If you add totals to the group in the group footer, you will not want to remove the group footer as doing that deletes the calculated fields that Access adds to that section when you add group totals. The last drop down lets you choose how the data records in each group should appear if printed. Selecting the default of Do Not Keep Group Together on One Page ignores grouping and ignores where the page breaks occur when you run out of printable page area. Selecting the Keep Whole Group Together on One Page option tries to print all the records in each group on one page. Selecting the Keep Header and First Record Together on One Page option starts printing the grouped data on a report page only if access can fit both the group header and at least one detail record below it on the same page. To then create additional groupings if desired, click the next Add a Group button below your current group and repeat the entire process. Note that the secondary group and any that follow it should logically be secondary groups in the larger primary group. If using multiple groups to change the order in which the grouping is applied, select the group whose order you want to change and then click the small Move Up and move down arrow buttons at the right end of the group. To delete a group, click the X button at the right end of the group. If you have controls in the group header or group footer, these controls are deleted along with the group header or footer. Access will warn you if this is the case before letting you delete the group. The process of creating a group is the same process used to sort report data. As you just saw when creating a group, you can choose how to sort the values within a group. However, for some detailed reports, you may not have any groupings. Regardless of whether you have created groups, you can still sort the report data using any available field. To sort a report in Access, Click the Add a Sort button in the Group Sort and Total pane. You can set the same options for a sorted field that you can with a grouped field. However, you most commonly only need to set the two options initially shown when the sort field is created. These options let you select the field by which to sort and choose the sort order. As with groups, you can reorder applied sorting or delete the sorting by using the Move Up, Move Down, and Delete buttons at the right end of the sort field. When you are finished creating groups and sorting, click the X button in the upper right corner of the Group Sort and Total pane to close it. Remember to click the Subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.